I don't know why <clears throat> it be muted. But can I get a God is good in the chat because God is good all of the time. Can I get that? Can I get a God is good in the chat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you ain't hit the like button yet, what you doing? Because it takes nothing to do it. All it takes is like three seconds to hit the like button. You feel me? Boom, bada, bang. And if you're not subscribed and you don't have my notifications on, please do that, too. Uh, before we get started with anything, Zachary Koch, I don't know, you just came in and started off the stream with a hundred dollar dono. Are you crazy? Are you crazy, my brother? Come on, a hundred? A hundred dollar dono. That's how you want to start this thing off. Okay, I guess so. Thank you so much, brother. <clears throat> Thank you. Another thing, bro, before I get into the news and what we're going to talk about and the whole point of this live, before we get into it, I, 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 I want to I make a statement. We got over 200 people in here. Somebody said, why do I never stream at Cozy? I do stream at Cozy. The only issue with Cozy is I have to change my settings every time I stream. Uh, but if you look at my description right now i'm promoting my cozy so i can game on here and i'm definitely becoming more consistent but <clears throat> before we get into anything and i know my hair look crazy there's a reason for that but um i just want to thank y'all because see the change culture it can't just be songs of gimmicks it can't just be things of that nature where you do it once and you never do it again. If you want to change culture, we have to actually come together and consistently support people. Not just me, other real critical conservative artists also. Like real critical conservative artists also. And the song I just released, Controlled with Anomaly, is not a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. Nobody can say it's gimmicky. Nobody can say doing something from somebody else's name. Nobody can say any of that. It's me and Anomaly spitting straight bars with a catchy hook, but still talk about our belief system and still making a statement. If you listen to the lyrics of that song, that song is a statement. You feel me? It's a statement song. And y'all got it to number one on Amazon, all genres. And we got up to number one on iTunes. We dropped back down to number two on the hip hop on iTunes. But we're like 700 sales away from having number one overall. And I just want to thank y'all, man. Clap, clap, clap up for y'all, man. I just want to thank y'all because that's nuts, man. That's nuts. And if you haven't got the song yet, just go to iTunes or Amazon. Type in Bryson, Bryson Gray Control. You can buy it on both. Uh, because we're trying to compete with the top of the people, bro. Like, literally, what we're doing is trying to compete with people. Like, that's what we do. If you want to change culture, we have to outdo what the demons are doing. And that's what we're doing. This is a start. This is a spark. But we still got a long ways to go. But I just want to uh, thank y'all for, for still sticking with us, bro, through all the controversy and the things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You know. BTZ with the $5. Thank you so much, bro. You know, it's controlled. So just type in Bryson Gray controlled on iTunes. I'll bring it up again later in the in the live stream if, if we get like more people in here. Um 89 Harkins with the $5 said, is your album going to be available for pre for pre-order? Yes, it will be. My album will release um January 28th, and that's gonna be the real test. The songs is cool, but the real test is gonna be that album. <laughs> you know, but it will be available available for pre-order <clears throat> pretty soon. But that that's 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 one thing I wanted to say. Also, the reason why my hair is I haven't got a shape up in a while. And also I want to do a music video and I want the music video to start with me like with the wolf vibe going. I guess I'm not super wolf right now, but you know, I'm trying to shoot a video and I want my hair to look this, but then on another scene it's gonna look clean. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, Savage, Kuda with the $1. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? But this is how we got to do I just want to thank y'all because we're, we're glorifying God while doing it. Now, that's I just told y'all some good stuff. And I want to start off good because what we're about to get into is nuts. Um, if you haven't shared the live stream yet, please share the live stream. What I'm about to show you is nuts and you're not going to believe it. So USA Today put out an article about pedophilia. Now this article started off as a tweet, as a, as a thread of tweets and they deleted the thread of tweets because they got wrecked on Twitter, rightfully so. But they still gave you the link to the entire article. Somebody said, what happened to you and Tyson? What do you mean? Tyson, my brother from another mother. Tyson, my brother. But um, as I was saying, They're pushing pedophilia on you. It isn't a conspiracy theory. I'm about to show it to you right now, live. And this is just simply a fact. And this is this is this is what's happening. Watch this. I'm about to read. We're about to go through this article. And this is a USA Today article. You don't get much bigger than USA Today. Here we go. Let me expand it so I can make sure y'all can see this thing. Make sure y'all can see this thing. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Matter of fact, hold on. Before we get into that, somebody said something in the chat. And I want to make this super clear. I'm not even gonna respond to you because certain certain people I don't I don't give them my energy to anymore. Well, let me be clear. There's a reason God takes care of his own people. Not the fakes. God takes care of his own people. And what I mean by that is these people ain't got no excuse to not have any success. They don't get banned as much as me. They don't get censored as much as me. They don't get shadow banned as much as me at all, but they always have negative energy. And then they complain about why they're not having the success they want. And it's because they're not following the word of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all in his righteousness and all things will be added to you. So the reason I think that uh, uh, I keep seeing some sort of success and in, in, in getting in positions to actually compete against these demonic artists is because I feel like God is protecting me through y'all that support me. Because if you support me, you have to be a God-fearing person to begin with. I know some atheists still support me, even though I'm, um, even though I'm contra, you know, controversial and I'm a religious zealot. But I know that God is working through all of us together to push something. The same thing with Tyson. Tyson is seeing more success now because Tyson James in real life tries to follow God. And I think a lot of people get it confused and they try to start drama. And one thing I told myself this year, y'all not getting no drama out of me. If somebody asks me a question, I will answer it. But these people are, 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 are not godly people. These are like terrible human beings. If you want me to be blunt and honest with you and um, just take note of that, but let's get back to it. <clears throat> Let's get back to it. USA Today article, we're going to read it ourselves. Pedophilia is viewed as among the most horrifying social ills, but, but scientists who study the sexual disorder say it is also among the, among the most misunderstood. So already in the first thing you can tell, they're trying to normalize it. Off the rip, you can tell it. Pedophilia is misunderstood. This we've been talking about them normalizing pedophilia for years. We've been called conspiracy theories. We've been we've been called crazy. But this is this is what it leads to. All of you people, and it's probably a lot of y'all in the chat. I'm sorry, I gotta keep it a hundred, but I do. All y'all that became soft on homosexuality because you got friends that's gay, family that's gay, aunts that's gay, uncles that's gay, nephews that's gay, kids that gay. You became soft on there because you chose your family over God. 
And when you became soft on that, you, mm, uh, you opened the door for this type of stuff that happens. The Bible told us how it works. You opened up the door for this stuff to happen. I got, I got, I got to be honest with y'all. I got to be honest. But let's get to it. And people in the chat trying to start drama, they, those are demons. I'm not even responding <clears throat> at all. When most of the public think of pedophilia, they assume it's synonymous with child sexual abuse. <laughs> I mean, maybe <clears throat> because it is, but let's keep, let's keep going. A pervasive social problem that has exploded to crisis levels online. Research researchers who study pedophilia say the term describes an attraction, not an action and using it interchangeably with abuse fuels misperceptions. Yo, what? This is a USA Today article. This isn't no nonsense. This isn't no person in their basement. This is USA Today. In 2022, the American Psychiatric Association Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder said pedophilia is defined by recurrent intense sexual arousing fantasies, sexual urges, and behaviors involving sexual activity with a, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, child or children. <clears throat> Scientists have in recent decades improved their understanding of pedophilia causes, prenatal and early childhood risk factors, as well as how pedophiles can better control impulses. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. But this is where we at. This is USA Today, mainstream news. Nobody can argue. It's USA Today. And I'm going to get down to the part that's disgusting to me. Here we go. Watch this. Not all people who sexually abuse children are pedophiles. Some pedophiles never abuse children, experts say. And some people who sexually abuse children do not sexually prefer them, but use them as a surrogate for an adult partner. They may be disinhibited and antisocial with impulse control problems. This is not something people choose, <clears throat> they say. Do y'all see this? Sergeant Lars with the five dollars. Thank you so much. We need to stand by our Bibles and stand tall for the persecuted and are blessed. Jesus and God, yes, sir. Do y'all see this? <clears throat> Do y'all see this? The controversy over this, uh, destigmatizing pedophilia it says y'all stop, stop the, stop stigmatizing pedophilia. Y'all, what are y'all doing? And here we go. The maps refer to pedophiles as minor attracted people. Here we go, guys. Here we go. How do y'all feel about that right there? How do y'all feel about that? Look how far we've come as a society. Or does it seem like it's getting more demonic by the day? By the day. We just cracked 300, over 300 people between uh, Facebook and YouTube. Thank y'all so much. But... Does this not discuss y'all? And I'm, I'm about to post this link to this article in the chat. <clears throat> and hopefully y'all can get it. I just post a link in the chat for everybody to let y'all know this is not a game. This is not a game. This is what happens 
when we leave the teachings of God, leave the teachings of the Bible and become worldly and think of becoming worldly is cool, thinking you're not supposed to judge, thinking you're not supposed to condemn, thinking you're not supposed to call out sin, this is where it's leading because we're raising a bunch of spoiled kids, a bunch of spoiled brats growing up, trying to be a part of some protected groups and they're taking the line further, further, further. First, it was gay people. Then it was the cross dressers. Then it was the, 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 the he, she's. Then it was a million genders. Now, now we're, we're going pedophilia. And y'all know it's coming after pedophilia, which is already starting. It's bestiality. If you type in zoophilia on Twitter or zoophilia on Google, you will understand that zoophilia, which is bestiality, is already becoming more normal and being normalized. This is what happens when you give the LGB an inch. They add the T. But if you would acknowledge it's an abomination biblically from the beginning, we probably wouldn't be here. But see, this this is the way they work. <clears throat> look at look at the BPAs. Look at things that's in the air. Look at things we're consuming. Look at all the soy people are consuming. Look at how they're attacking your children through TV shows, through all types of media, through commercials. I was in the gym yesterday, and I saw two black dudes kissing on a commercial. I don't have a TV in my room. This is my room right here. I don't have a TV. I didn't know that they was really showing grown man kissing on commercials like that. That's nuts. That's nuts. And I saw that in the gym. I saw that in the gym. Design of the two dollars. These heretics want a crusade. Drop cloak. Get a sword. Hey man, listen. <clears throat> They're after the children. It's working. Your average child thinks um, there's more than two genders and a, and a man can be a woman now. That's where we at. But always remember, I've called This is Slippery Slope since 2013. I, I wish I could find my old blog and show y'all. This is when I thought I was a Democrat calling out the LGBT because I was still reading the Bible. I mean, that's just nuts, bro. Uh-uh. I didn't mean to spend that much time on that, bro, because I've already been live 20 minutes, but I'm sorry. That's that pissed me off, bro, because you're messing with children, bro. You're coming for the kids, dog. And that ain't that ain't it. That ain't it, folks. That's not it. But let's 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 get to the next thing before I get overly irritated. So the next thing is this, and 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 a lot of things have been happening, so I had to go live because it's the things I want to speak on. I want to speak on Gitter. Now, I've already said on live that Gitter is not a speech, free speech platform. I'm not telling you to not be on Gitter. I'm just saying don't be on Gitter expecting to, it to be something different than um, Twitter. And a lot of people say, well, I don't like Gab. Well, Gab, you can literally save it from your browser and have it on your home screen to act just like an app. I don't know why people are lazy. Not only that, Gab is the only free speech platform out right now that's literally free speech. And what I mean by that is Gab, you can say whatever you want, like literal speech. Porn isn't speech. Porn hasn't, uh, the Supreme Court already decided porn isn't speech, period. So we're not talking about, I'm talking about real speech. And um, if, if you understand, people say, well, I don't like, people are anti-Semitic on Gab. Who cares? I'm so tired of seeing grown people upset at words. You over the age of 18 talk about, I don't like when people are anti-Semitic. Shut your punk tail up. You wouldn't have lasted in my high school. I don't know how y'all grew up, but when I grew up, if you, if you scared of anti-Semitic, homophobic, racist jokes, you wouldn't have lasted in my high school growing up. I don't know what y'all be on. And I be seeing people like in their 40s and 50s talk about this. Like y'all ain't got no spine, no thick skin. If you ain't got thick skin, get off the internet because you ruin it for everybody else. All y'all sensitive people, it's not just the left, it's the right too. All of y'all, all of y'all sensitive people are ruining it for everybody else. Gab, I mean, not Gab, but Gitter literally admit the communications director is a leftist that called Trump people a cult that said Biden won election fair and square. This person is a leftist off the rip and they have admitted they have hate speech laws on their platform. They have, they have hate speech rules on Gitter. 
You cannot believe in free speech and believe in hate speech. That's an, that's an oxymoron. That's oxymoronic. By definition, it doesn't make sense. But then when I say move the gap, I don't like, there's racism there. So uh, John Miller, who's black, by the way, got banned on Gitter for having the N-word in his bio. I'm not going to have the N-word in my bio, but why do you care if somebody has the N-word in their bio? Who, who cares? Who gives a crap? You don't have to go to his bio. <laughs> like, I'm confused. You don't have to go to his bio. You don't. Somebody said, why so many people are anti-Semitic? Because they have their opinion. Who cares? Everybody, listen. I keep the Sabbath. I follow the Torah. I'm definitely not a Zionist. No, this is, I can't stand Zionist. And I'm definitely not anti-Semitic, obviously, because I follow Jesus Christ. It's kind of hard being anti-Semitic if you follow a, a, a Jew. But, but, bro, that's how it is. Twitter used to be like that back in the day when I grew up. You can say whatever you want. And you people just ignore what they didn't want to see because you are a grown adult. You are grown. Stop crying about what other people are saying. You are grown. I understand if it's something like pornography or pedophilia or stuff like that, but words, bro? Y'all mad at words? Grown adult conservatives? Y'all ain't for no free speech. Get her ain't for free speech. And then somebody said, well, I don't think the N-word should be considered free speech. Man, get out of here, bro. You are a Democrat, bro. And Gab not paying me to promote Gab. I'm not getting paid for none of this. I'm just, I've been on Gab and I can say anything I want on Gab. I, I found some um, uh, some neo-Nazis I used to debate on Gab and I was like, low-key happy I found them. We can, we can have discussions and disagreements like adults. Like adults supposed to. I don't know, bro. I can't sit, I don't want to be a part of no movement that's scared of words, bro. Oh, they're anti-Semitic. I, I don't think if you anti-Semitic, you should be on this platform. Oh my goodness, you're you're homophobic. You shouldn't be allowed on this platform. Oh my goodness, you're transphobic, bro. Y'all are clowns. I think Zionists and and uh, uh what do you call people as anti-Semitic? Anti-Semites? Is that that's the name for it? I don't know. I don't know the name for it. But I think Zionists and anti uh, anti-Semites should be on the same platform. I don't I don't care, bro. <clears throat> I don't care. And that leads me to this video of Joe Rogan calling out Gitter. And I think it is beautiful because uh, the reason why Gitter exploded over the past few weeks is because of Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan already called Gitter Fugazi. We about to play it right now. We about to play it right now. I got to hear it too. Hold on. I'm going to mute myself while I was playing so I can hear it. This, this is, is mattering not. to every day the internet's expanding it seems to be getting bigger and bigger and the people that have a platform online a digital platform seem to be getting more and more attention so to me isn't there an inevitable also it might be a, a language warning on this uh i, I think they said a, a few bad words so language warning inevitable shift coming to where comics really are just gonna have to compete digitally I think the digital aspect of it is the best way to promote themselves for sure. Right. Whether it's through putting their stuff online on a YouTube or a Rumble or Instagram or whatever they're doing. Like or people, Getter, which you're, you're now on. You're yeah. on Getter. That's a news story. Like, why is it a news story? Chinese story? Communist Party now, I believe. Yeah. Why are you? It's a news story that you're on Getter. Well, the news story is their, their fucking amount of people that signed up increased by... 1,150% or something. Yeah, something you have bananas. like 20, uh, you have like eight, 9 million followers on Getter. Yeah, it's not real though. Is it because not real? Because Getter doesn't even have 9 million people. No. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, it's a lot so of fuckery. So there's fuckery with that. This is where the fuckery is. They yeah. take all. Okay, this is a lot of cursing. I watched it earlier. I don't even remember being that much cursing, but I, I got to end it there. I can't even listen to that. <clears throat> I can't listen to that chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even listen to that. <laughs> You can go watch it yourself. You you can you can, you can, if you if you if you if you want to, you can go watch that yourself. <laughs> but um, 
Long story short, no, I watched it. I watched a clip of it earlier. It was a shorter clip, though. I watched a shorter clip, and it, it, they were using the word fugazi. So they were calling Gitter fugazi. I didn't watch the whole clip. I, 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 didn't, I didn't watch the whole clip. Somebody said Joe Rogan hates Christ. Oh, that's not the point. I know he's an atheist. And I, I wish I could go on his show. Zachary, thank you so much for the $10. What happened to Sticks and Stone? They break my bones, but words will never hurt. I don't know. We raised a bunch of punks. Keenan with the $5. Thank you so much. Um, So long story short, uh, Joe Rogan just throws Gitter under the bus. He calls Gitter Fugazi. He said he wished he could find out how to get off of it. Um, You said we free speech, though. Yeah, I am free speech, but this is my show, so I can do what I want on my show. I mean, obviously. But, um, so yeah, he, uh, Black on Black Vices, real with $10. Uh, thank you so much. And lefties call all people that observe the Sabbath for anyone that supports Israel or Zionists. They hate us all, bro. Well, some people are going to write do that too. Anybody that observed the Sabbath, they'll call them a Zionist or something. I've been called a Zionist and anti-Semitic on the same day before. Just so you, by, by right-wingers. And just show you how weird. <clears throat> just how weird people are. But nonetheless, I had to stop it because I, I personally didn't want to hear the cursing. But you see how easy it is? If I don't want to hear the cursing, I just cut it off. Oh, man, so easy. I don't have to call for something to get banned. But the point being is Gitter is not free speech, bro. Like, and a lot of people add Gitter, bro. I'm cool with them, but, but you know, I can't, I can't rock with this. Uh, Rocky said he's a Zionist and he won't apologize. I don't want you to apologize. Be a Zionist. <clears throat> Be a Zionist. Be a Zionist. Hope under that is Gap. Ugh, gap over Gitter, bro. Real simple. Now on to another, bro. I'm going to be honest. All the news I'm giving y'all is sort of all terrible news. <laughs> A lot. This is a lot of terrible stuff happening, bro. I don't know. I was. I, I gotta give it to y'all straight. I gotta give it to y'all straight, cause hey, ain't a lot of good things happening right now. But God is always good, and we 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 changing culture. We nitpicking that culture. But in the grand scheme of things, <clears throat> I wish I could give y'all better news. But this is stuff we need to bring attention to. So I want to read y'all this. <clears throat> This is what's funny. In Vancouver, a family was evicted because they were unvaccinated. Because they were unvaccinated. And it's, 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 but I don't know what to say about this country right now, bro. It is uh, not this country. This, this is not our country. I meant to say this world. Uh, <clears throat> things are just getting worse, bro. Things are getting worse. Let's get to it. This what makes it worse. The family has a four-year-old boy with cancer. Four-year-old boy with cancer. And they got evicted because they are unvaccinated. I know I just keep giving y'all bad news and it's not on purpose. I don't want to pop off like that. I'm going to try to end it off on a good note some type of way. But this world is getting out of hand and I have to show y'all the truth. Uh, everything ain't sunshine and rainbows. Their four-year-old son is undergoing treatment for leukemia. And because they aren't vaccinated against COVID-19, they are being evicted. And wow. I haven't seen the video. Let's let's look at the video. I, I have not seen it. Let's look at it. I'll mute myself. <clears throat> This is an eviction notice, I believe, to anybody older than five who's not vaccinated is getting evicted from Ronald McDonald House. 
So I'm just gonna go talk to the people at the counter and see if it's legit now. Um, do you have like a, a manager here or somebody that you talk to? Um, it's, it's about this letter we got. It's about saying everybody here has to be vaccinated. Hey. Well, I'm just asking. Like, like, we got this last night, and, yes. uh, it's just pretty disturbing, I'm just wondering if it's legit. Is this yeah. saying that, like, everybody who's not vaccinated is getting evicted? No, we have a grace period to which you can um, get your first dose, yeah. but essentially as of January 17th, it's a board mandate from our, from our So I just want to get this straight. So, by the end of the month, my four-year-old boy with leukemia is getting evicted. Because we don't have a vaccine. Parents. This is if he was six months older, he would be getting evicted. But yeah, because we don't have the vaccine, you're going to throw it on the snow with a few weeks' notice. Like this is some kind of crazy evil. Like I have never seen in my life. It doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. Every bro, that's nuts, bro. Matthew Sobel with the $10. Thank you so much, man. Yo. <clears throat> Savage Kuda with the $1. Thank you so much. Yo, that bro. These people are demonic. I'm sorry, folk. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. These folk are demonic, dog. And they talking about they're giving them a grace period. The policy which includes a grace period for patients and their families to get at least one dose of the vaccine before January 31st. Mandates that adults and teens over the age of 12 scan their vaccine passports at the front desk for their records. <clears throat> Yo. Yo. This is criminal, dog. This is this, this, this. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts, dog. <clears throat> This is nuts, dog. If you any type of human being, I don't care if you pro-vax or anything. If you support stuff like that, you are a demon, bro. I don't care. Call me what you want. Call me judgmental all day long. You are a demon. If you support stuff like that, you are demonic. Demonic. Period. Nathan, thank you so much for the dollar. <clears throat> Somebody say this in New York? Nah, it seems like it's in Canada. Dang, dog. At first, I was hoping it was sort of fake. But, I mean, I can't argue with that video. Y'all, I'm sorry. Straight bad news, bro. Straight bad news. I got one more thing to get to that's irritating me. And then I'm going to sum it all up and try to turn this into some good news in some sort of way. But I, I, I got to talk about what's irritating me, bro. <clears throat> so I read today that Trump, it seemed like Donald Trump is throwing shots at DeSantis. Now, listen, I am not the biggest fan of DeSantis. He has passed anti-free speech laws. Uh, but I do think he's a better governor than 99.9% of governors in this country right now. Uh, better than my governor, Bill Lee, currently. Um, but I don't understand the subliminal attack. So Trump, in an interview with Owen, slammed GOP politicians. Let's let's get to the tweet. <clears throat> he slammed GOP politicians <clears throat> who won't say they got a booster as gutless. Now, for all y'all people that claim Trump is for choice and blah, 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 so y'all don't care about everything else he say, even though he's lying about the vaccine, y'all don't care, that's cool. Uh, but <clears throat> why are you so worried about what other politicians say there? If I don't, if the politicians don't want to say they got it, it what, what if you're wrong and they don't got it? This is not 
the 2016 Trump, bro. And obviously, he sent me doing a shot at DeSantis. <clears throat> and he said, I've taken it. I've had the booster. Even though Trump <clears throat> said that the booster was a money grab out of his own mouth two months earlier. That's what Trump said. He called the booster a money grab. But whatever. He got it. And he's talking about people being interviewed about the booster and blah, blah, blah. Uh, Holly with the $2. Thank you so much. Good show. Thank you. And then here he goes again. First off, I don't understand how Trump can call anybody gutless when he shamelessly admitted that the reason he didn't fire Fauci is because he was scared of a media storm. And the reason he didn't pardon Julian Assange is because he was scared of a media storm. But he pardoned Kodak Black, and that didn't offer a media storm. Even though Kodak Black, all he talks about in his music is sex. He was just caught sort of having sex with a girl in a, at a freaking football game. And I guess you don't care about stuff like that and all the things he promote because that don't cause a media storm because this country is demonic. Um, but you scared of a media storm about everything else and calling other people gutless. Hypocritical. Um, but the fact is that I think vaccines save 10 million of throughout the world and I've had absolutely no side effects. So once again, this is the part that pissed me off the most. <clears throat> He has not even acknowledged the people that have had adverse reactions uh, or the millions that had adverse reactions or the thousands that had deaths related to this. <clears throat> so this is kind of disgusting to me also, but let's keep reading. If they get it, they're not going to hospitals for the most part and dying. Trump said, if you get the shot, you're not going to hospitals and dying. And he said before it was a horror and now they're not now. Once again, this is pure silliness. We all know this is a lie, period. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you believe in. This is blatant lies that he's pushing. Period, point blank. These are blatant, blatant lies that he's pushing. Listen. If you don't care about Trump lying and pushing a vaccine... That's your rights. If you think that he is playing 50D chess, that is your rights. But I just don't agree. I used to, but now I don't. It's become obvious that the same things I loved about him, that a lot of us loved about him, is currently biting him in the behind. <clears throat> Period, point blank. And I think that's the issue we're having right now because that's not true. People are getting the shot and going to the hospital and dying. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's just simply the truth. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of scary. Um, because a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? Supported Trump heavy, including myself. Uh, it's, it's kind of scary and disappointing, but I'm grounded in God first. So I feel like when you be God first, getting disappointed by humans, it doesn't take that much of a toll on you. Uh, and that's why I'm able to admit that Trump is doing anything wrong because I'm not like, I, I never picked Trump first. It was always, it was always God first. So I, I, I never have to lie about him doing something wrong or right. If he did something right, um, I praise it, which he done a lot of right and a lot of good. But over the last year, he has been terrible. His interviews has been atrocious. His speeches have been dumb. Um, so I don't, I, I, I'm not in a position where I have to lie about stuff like that. You know, somebody said y'all go too far on the deep end of the jab. I got a whole family of folks, folks that's jab, no effect shit. Well, that means you don't care about the people that got effects. Well, I haven't gotten the jab and I haven't had, I haven't been to the hospital. I haven't done anything. I've had, I've, 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 I haven't had the shot, but I've had COVID. I had COVID and I, I'm unvaccinated. So maybe y'all are taking it too far about what it does. Maybe y'all are taking it too far about what it can protect you from. Maybe y'all are taking it too far about what the virus even actually does. Because I don't know anybody personally that has died from it. And nobody in my immediate family is vaccinated and they all had it. Matter of fact, my older brother has it right now. So... Maybe, and when I say y'all, I mean, obviously, if if you're not in the y'all I'm talking about, I'm not talking to you. Like, I hate having to, having to say stuff like that. But 
So no jab, had COVID, and I'm perfectly fine. Matter of fact, according to science, I'm better off because I have the natural antibodies. Uh, but, you know, someone say y'all are fools to support Trump. Yeah, I simply disagree with that because still, yet and still, uh, supporting a political candidate is not pitting that person of a God. So I, I disagree with you, Be Cheesy, that we we're fools for supporting Trump because Trump still statistically had the best economy of our lifetime. Period. And he deserved to be defended when he was called racist because historically he's just not a racist, never has been racist. He was actually popular with the black community. So no, we weren't foolish for um, supporting Trump, but I think we were foolish for thinking that, I don't know. I don't know. There is some foolishness in it, which is why we're obviously disappointed about what he's doing now. But I don't think it was fully support, support Trump. Uh, if you take me back to 2016, take me back to 2020, I would support, support Trump again. <laughs> now, 2024, that's different. But, I mean, he did flop. He he flopped later. You know what I'm saying? But now y'all girl, nobody say, them first three years, you was getting more money. Them first three years, you was getting more money. Everybody was getting money. Everybody was going good. <clears throat> Period. Keep it a band. Keep it a band. He did good now. Hey, hey, hey. Trump may be doing some trash stuff now, but Eric, you cap. You cap it if you say Trump he, economy before pre-COVID wasn't, wasn't, wasn't smacking. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But, uh, yeah, all that pandering this week. BT with the five dollar Psalm 143, do not put your trust in princes in which there is no help. Yeah, that still doesn't change the fact that there's nothing wrong with supporting a political candidate. Uh Sleepless in 2012 with the five dollars. Trump has a safe face. No, I disagree with that. I think I just think Trump is weak. Bobby with the two dollars. <throat> he was the right man for 2016. I agree. I agree. I, man, he's just getting old, bro. That man old. Trump is old, bro. <clears throat> it is what it is. He a boomer. Trump is a boomer, bro. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. But if y'all don't know, I will be, uh, that's pretty much it. If you haven't bought the song Control yet, we are number two on our hip-hop charts. We were number one, but we lost the top spot. Uh, so if you just type in Bryson Gray Controlled on iTunes, uh, then you can get it. Uh, Jessica Rodriguez with the $2. Who would you support in 2024? Nobody. Um, I don't even care about 2024. I don't care about 2022. Now, what I do think is foolish is everybody crying about how the election was stolen and how we need mandatory voter ID laws. All that crying just to get back up and talk about DeSantis 2024, Trump 2024, Red Way 2022. It's almost like the media, including right-wing media, made you forget that the election was stolen, made you forget that our votes are not counting and all y'all doing is running back to, 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 to participate in the same system that doesn't really care about you. Um, I think that's foolish. Uh, I think that's nuts. That's crazy, actually. So I'm not that type of guy. I I, I don't know. Mm -mm. If I see a super God-fearing person uh, candidate that, that runs that's going to actually pass laws, not to stop what the left is doing, but to actually pass laws in favor of biblical principles, then that's somebody I would really, I would really get hype about. But outside of that, participating in this, in, in, in this system doesn't make no sense until we get some laws changed. And if you look, not many states has passed mandatory voter ID laws since 2020, other than other than the states that already had it. So until I see that, if I see if I see at least 20 states, 20 new states pass mandatory voter ID laws, I'll be excited again. Bruce with the five dollars for the man here. Which speech did DeSantis ban? Last I checked, he banned the practice of CRT and education, it's not his study. Uh, so I'm ha I'm not talking about anything about that. If you type in DeSantis anti-Semitic, uh, if you type in DeSantis anti-Semitic on Google, you would see <clears throat> that he basically condemned Gab and passed anti-Semitic legislation, which is gay. So, um. That's what it is. Somebody yelling out, vote. You can vote all day long if you want to, but you can't tell me to vote. Vote is my right if I want to do it or not. I don't vote for the lesser two evils. I don't vote if I know that my vote is not going to count. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? I'll make my decision when a decision comes. Uh, you can disagree with me or you can agree with me. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. I'm going to stand on what I just said because that's what I believe. And it's, it's based on facts. So, I mean, 
it is what it is. And if you don't know anything about this shot that everybody's pushing, this vaccine that everybody's pushing, you need to get you some research in your system, period. Look up all vaccines. Look at the history of vaccines, period. Someone said, like, you're not going to get a candidate that you agree with every policy 100%. Well, that means you missed what I just said, and I'm not repeating it. Uh, it's channel FBS with the $5. One question, where did you get that black and white MAGA hat? I got it from the Trump Doral in Miami. <clears throat> You have to take what you're given. No, you do not. No, you do not. You can't see anyone voting Democrat again after this. I hope that's not your mindset because these Democrats are smart. They're, they have dumb policies, but they smart at marketing their policies. Conservatives, we have good ideas. We're dumb at marketing them. That's very simple. If I have any, if, if, if y'all want to take any advice from little old me, I'm only 30. Who cares about what I have to say? Uh, pick God first. Get in the word of God. Read the Bible. Stop caring about uh, uh, politics. Well, when I say stop caring about, still research it so you can understand what's going on so you know what's coming next. You have to know what's going on in a political uh, atmosphere if you want to know what's coming next. But don't put all your eggs in a political basket. Start focusing on culture and mainly focusing on God. Um, I'm about to read the Bible tonight at uh, at. 9 p.m. Eastern on my Brighton in the Bible YouTube channel. Uh, we're still in Genesis. We're, 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 go, we're getting through Genesis, though. And that's what that's what I will be doing. Um, so, you know, somebody said, don't vote as old for us. Hey, you can have that opinion. You feel me? Let me know when some states pass and vote ID laws. Outside of that, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. God bless y'all. Time to change culture. Uh, go get the song if you haven't got it yet. Album will drop the 28th. Check the description. You can text me so I can update you personally to bypass all this banning and censorship. So instead of complaining about it, we can get to it. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for coming so much. Hit the like button before you leave. Uh, Braden, thank you so much for the $2. Regardless of President, Christ is King. Yes, sir.